Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to get introduced to a new data set. The name of the data set is Billboard. We are majorly going to use this data set to learn about melting data frame and also pivoting data frame. Before we get to learn those um, functions, very useful function, in this video, we're just going to focus on this new data set. So let's get to it. So as always, we import our modules and we try to uh, read the data data which is the billboard data uh, once we do this it gets to an error and it has to do with the way uh, the data is um, structured in this file the pandas doesn't recognize that structure so you have to add an encoding um, this is a very um, you know side note so let's not uh, talk about that and just like focus on the analytic parts of it so if you add this encoding Latin one, this is just gonna like work for you perfectly fine. So you will see the data, it has a bunch of uh, columns. I mean, like a lot of them actually, if you can see this, that, that, that it's from X3, like, you know, week third, goes all the way to week 76. So a lot of data, but most of the ending uh, ones are sort of like empty or like missing, or there are no values there. And there are other data, the date enter, genre, time, track. So basically it's a data set of uh, music tracks and uh, their ranking, um, their average ranking that were listed um, in different week after the data was entered or the track was entered in this data set. Um, so if you want to look at the number of columns in this data we just say df dot columns and the columns are as we saw there are a good many of them uh, that are here uh, so let's you know explore a little bit about this data and sort of like get to know what type of information is presenting let's look at all of the uh, possible values of from first week to all the way to 76 week, six week Let's do that first for the first very row. So df.lock, uh, so we specify zero, and that means I want to get um, whatever uh, the data for this specific row, because the index is zero. And I want the columns from week one to week 76. So that's perhaps a new way of uh, using a lock, but this is useful if you want uh, the data from specific column all the way to the other one to another column whatever in between you can use this uh, technique colon uh, so the sample we can see that from x1 all the way to x67 and since now we you know have the capability to plot things very quickly using matplotlib which i have already imported here so now i can um just plot this just by saying plot the sample data and it will just plot for me. I see here that, you know, there are like a lot of like, you know, smooshed uh, text here. So for me to take care of that, I just want to say, oh yeah, I want to just only see the first, the 11 and the 21st one. Other than that, I don't want to see anything else. So once, once I do that, I just see those ones as a sort of a reference. But I also can hear because it's, the programming uh, environment you can i can see all of the uh, rows and see how the data looks like in just one figure so i create a loop over all of the rows in this data and i do the same thing and i plot that data that i did for the first row and it gives me a really good um, look at what type of data i'm looking at so you can see for the majority of the data uh, the after week 21st, the data is um, non existent for any reason. Either the ranking is stable or just it's not there. And like for some of them, it also leads to week 72, as we saw. So that's a really good uh, look at the data. So this now you can see the change of the rankings. So that gives you like an impression of what, what's happening in this data. 